Hello everyone, my name is Rakani Crows and welcome back to another episode of the Rimworld. So last episode we had a pretty nasty raid that got people all stuck up in bed. Uh, we are missing a few things on some colonists, so let me see. I think Blade is missing a leg down, right? Uh, yeah, his left TV is shattered, which is uh, equivalent to missing a leg. Uh, anyone else? Right pixel and left thumb, that's not, you know, good enough to replace those. So we can basically go ahead and just uh, wait up for a leg for Blade. Uh, we should buy it as soon as we can. But for now people are recovering over here, redoing the camp fuels and manning the drills again. So. Yeah, the idea here is going to be to just bring these things in as soon as possible, please. And basically leave them unset up, like inside, until we are ready to turn things on. Because attacks are indeed getting them uh, destroyed by this, uh, by the, um, the turrets and whatnot. So I think we need to change our approach a little. And for that, I believe I will have to rebuild this area. So the idea is, let me just get the planning tool, though I will do that you know, off screen. Uh, so the idea will be to have like a big area. And that is where the, the ship will be and it will be constructed and then we just offset these things to the side then we can have like a row of the, the, the these slot turrets like over here have this area like protected by the smaller turrets because it's a lot lot of area yeah uh, and more over here. Now I'm not entirely sure uh, how we are going to deal with this here. I suppose I could just, you know, just cut off this area. Make all of this non-accessible, maybe a maintenance thing or something. Or I could just wall everything in over here. That could also work and force uh, attackers and whatnot to come over this side. Of course that will probably mean I'll have to uh, protect this place better over here uh, and leave their vectors of attack just, you know, around the place. They might also try and come through here, but if we're at that point I don't think uh, it hurts a lot. However, we can still just create um, like a little protection with some turrets over to the this side and that I think that that could work obviously and that that would be the wrong place for it it would have to be like ready I think that was too much anyway it doesn't matter uh, it'll be around here somewhere uh, so you see that is uh, the plan but I'm not sure if these will fit like that well, but uh, we'll have to see. Oh, synth thread. Yeah, we'll take that. That is very good. You're also going to have to reinforce... Well, we're going to make this wall. I guess we'll just make it like too thick or... Or like one thick and with a little, you know, entry entryway and stuff. You know, something like that. Do let me know if uh, if you have any ideas for like some better protection and whatnot, because I would love to hear them. Yeah, something of the sort. That's so that colonists can be and such. Yeah, but like I said, I'm going to do redo the proper plans uh, off camera and uh, you know uh, redo these things on camera with you. So that is where we're at. How are we for food? We're doing okay, but 
I could do with all of these wars dead. Like those. And that thing. Uh, we should be able to because um, our colonists shoot well. There we go. It got hunted. It's just so it doesn't hunt us. And our crops are fully inside and fully ready for us to go. One thing I would like, um, because we are not getting much of it. Oh, there we go. We, we already do have a um, little tree growing zone, but that is not good enough. And even though it's over there on the rich soil, I'm actually going to move it inside. Because trees do a weird thing when they're growing. So. Be there, be there, there, be there, there, mm. not there, but there, 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 there. Yeah, that I think works. Maybe we could bring it up here. And uh, maybe another row. Don't know if that would work here, but it would definitely work over there. Uh, we'll try it anyway. And we'll finish over there. AI Persona Core for sniper rifles. We require the sniper rifle. And more than we required the uh, AI Persona. So we, if we had sniper rifles coming, we would do them ourselves. So this should a uh, drifter. Hey. This should create the pattern. I think it was. Let's grab Kristen and force her to sew and see how. Oh, it's still on potatoes. <laughs> Growing time. Uh, it can be oak trees because we are not hurting for them. So are these two just gonna... Isn't she even going to create the, do the pattern I said? No, the pattern is upset. Uh, people... There is a rhyme and reason, and you, and you will see that they are one block next to the other. It's just that... Often you, you have to maybe see it or something. I don't know. And this one is on pattern. Trees in Rimworld, they are very, very good to get. That's fine. I will just leave it there, let it do what it wants. We will have trees coming in. That's what so, yeah, we will continue the constructions, we will continue on installing as things get constructed, and uh, I'll be back when there's something to report. We have an infestation coming, this one, outside the base, interesting enough. So we're going to go right ahead and turn on the power there. And before anything else, we... We are going to grab a bunch of people, well, everyone, basically, and we are going to put them over here at first, basically just to attract the birds. We are honest. Kristen should be able to start shooting. There we go. Inside. Roxy might get caught in the crossfire. Oh, that turret is done, and that's not great. defenses and that means putting people uh, in the line of fire so to speak. Uh, 
this more like proxy. Uh, you will have some range on you. Who do you have? Interesting. Yeah, let's put Marcus and Justin over here somewhere. More than there. Blade and three one. No, we should. Carrot, what are you doing? No inside. Okay, so they are going to. Oh dear. Marcus, please get inside. It's fine. Everyone is disorganized. Alright, I want y'all over here. Let the turrets deal with them if they have. Spider should not be able to make it through. It wasn't. And what about here? No, everything is fine. The turrets will take care of anyone that wakes up. And yes, this is a mess over here. Never underestimate infestations is what uh, we gather from here. So let's make like a small group over here and them to attack. Oh, that's fine. Let's regroup over there and attack this one. Oh, and now we come inside over here. See, one of them woke up. I'm not for long though. Uh, okay, and now we attack that one. And that one. Perfect. Uh, the, oh, this one. Ugh, they're they're getting big. These infestations. They're not very good for us, since they're the one attack that we're least equipped to deal with. But that's fine, because we can always, uh, you know, just wing it. The bombs. So. Garrett, you need to be unrestricted. Uh, this animal needs rescue, and who is nearby? Try one. Please rescue the muffalo. You are also not injured, so you can go ahead and do that. Most of the things here needs need to be repaired and stuff. That's fine. We also have a bunch of downed creatures that need to be finished off, if people could do that. As I would rather them being finished off than me having to waste bullets. Medical emergency for animals! Stray one, are you not the one who is tending to it? Well, you are now. Hopefully you'll get there in time, although... We do have both male muffalo, so let's see if we can't find a female. No, well, no females for us right now. That means uh, when they migrate in, we'll have to take them again. No, not take them again, we'll have to find a female. Uh, so that's fine. The muffalo died, it's going to be food. Colonists need treatment, but that is okay because we have plenty of doctors who are well on their um, well, you know, they know what they're doing, I think, just in case. Some things got killed, perfect. Uh, that means a bunch of insect meat for us to turn into kibble. And that here. Very good. Now this space definitely needs to be cleaned. Let's grab Eric and let's try and force him to clean it up. Yeah, Aktung is very good. So Eric should uh, do his best to clean up most of the base, or at least 
this main corridor. And yes, it's causing some bugging and stuff. Heat stroke because outside is very very hot and here is very very um, unpleasant, but that's fine. So I'll bring you back when something else happens. So we have a trader here, and they have a psychic insanity lance. Unfortunately, no leg for blade, but oh well, what do you do? So the psychic insanity lance is great because we can target um, an enemy and drive them into a berserk state. So he will attack his friends, his or her friends. What this means is that if we get someone with a very powerful weapon or we have like a... Well, not exactly a Mecha Knight, because Mecha Knights will attack Raiders anyway, but mostly the Raiders. If we have someone with a really powerful weapon, we can use this and that weapon momentarily becomes our ally. And that is good and far better than the Psychic Shock Lance, which is why I'm selling one. I'm also buying a Psychic Suit Pulsar. The Psychic Suit Pulsar will help keep everyone happy if we like have a long battle and people are starting to break. A Psychic Suit Pulsar will help us keep a mood boost up so that they don't have so many breaks and that so that we can survive um, you know, that low morale. State. I'm also selling a bunch of stuff, mostly things that are occupying space in the storage room. Nothing too fancy, nothing too bad. But yeah, we now have two very powerful weapons in our arsenal that will help us out in the upcoming battles. Also creating the bay for the new slot turret over here. Now, I'm not sure if I want to connect the turret to a switch, probably yes. I can't connect them to the same switch, but that is okay. I'll just uh, put the switch on each side and have Blade turn them on. Blade? No, Garrett turn them on one by one. Uh, poor Treyone is... was smelting, I think. Yeah, there we go. Cancelled smelting from... Uh, extreme break risk and exhaustion, that's uh, fine. So they will uh, start building that and I will consider this side done. Uh, and then I can start protecting uh, this area. But uh, yeah, so that is a little bit away since we still need to collect enough slate and steel for that. Mm. And Eric has a go frenzy, she'll move faster next few days that's okay so yeah i'll bring you back when there's something else to report that turkey did not last time and again we have an infestation this time from drilling down here well there was a reason why we're drilling down there is that our gold supply over here uh, ended so now we need to get our gold from over here so first things first, let's get Sarah out of there and let's grab everyone else and, you know, get a little shooty place going. Maybe like a diagonal? Uh, yes, yeah, something like that. I think that will work. Now I want to keep Garrett inside and obviously turn on things. I think the animals will be fine if I leave them be. So yeah, they start by doing that and that's expected. Now let's let them come and let's try and focus the fire so that you know, they aren't like just randomly attacking. Alright, so many more are going to come, and that's fine if we lose that generator, I'm not concerned with the generator. I think I want to take down that mega spider as soon as possible, because it really hurts. Far more than the spell, actually, so... Yeah, 
obviously want it down. So there's the spell piece. More came and that was the scarab. And I think that is all of them. I can always check with numbers, of course. Oh, the mega spider didn't actually die and it's finished off. That's okay. So Garrett was not that necessary, but it's always good to be prepared. Now that fire, we need to deal with that fire, and that means adding this area to our home area because of the roof that we put in here. Uh, it gets a little troublesome. So hopefully people will come and deal with the fire. Some will deal with the mining over there. I also need to remove the home area from here, because that's what I do. Like for them to stop the fires and um, make sure things are properly... Who's coming to... Stop the fire, please. Hmm. He stops quest, I don't care. So we at least saved the deep drill and that's all that really matters, really. Now we can put the generator over here. That's fine. We need more steel, a lot more. Um, we are digging over here both for slate and see if we can't find some steel. We did find components over here. I'm doing this pattern since uh, I actually do want to grab the slate that's in the middle, but I also want to uh, keep going, you know? And I don't want to give raiders and stuff like a shortcut through the mountain. Against the uh, wall still being intact. So, yeah. That's that thing. Uh, maybe I should open this up. This isn't an ancient danger. Probably won't have anything inside. But you know, something we can take a look at. Uh, if anyone would like to come. Kristen, you are watching television. Would you like to deconstruct this? Yep. Nothing. Just as I expected. Well, that was eventful, so I will be back when there's more. With this crypto sleep casket built, this is the last piece we need for the spaceship. So now we get to have the pleasure of, you know, rebuilding our defenses to be more workable. So the first thing we are going to need is a battery room, which will be in this little set. And who broke up? Roxy told Eric that it would be best to see other people, and they are no longer in a relationship. Oh, that is not good. I am going to remove this as for prisoners, so that Eric has a place to sleep. Uh, and we have a surgical supplier. Well, that could be very good. So let's go see if they have a leg for a blade. They have... So no bionic leg for a blade, but we do get a bunch of good medicines that we are going to need. We're going to spend a good bunch of our money, but that is okay. Silver is best when spent. So, how are we doing? Well... We have our spaceship ready. We are now building turrets that we need to get ourselves uh, well defended. We are going to have to build the battery room, so let's get that started. Now it's going to be the door over there. And then the batteries are just going to be around the sides. Ooh, Ooh psychic. Um, this is a good one. Go, batteries, batteries, batteries. We might even want a few more, but we'll see. New lovers! Sarah and Eric. So that's going to be their new bed. So Eric and Sarah. There you go. And of course this uh, venometric power cell. 
So it fits well there. So we'll just build a copy. And uh, yeah, we'll make a, an array of um, batteries and stuff. And we'll close it off over here. Nothing too fancy. And we'll add a bit more roof. Very nice. We will get the floors smoothed, most of them. There we go, smooth. And then we go with slate tile everywhere else. So that will be the battery room. Uh, do we need to connect it to the power grid? No, they are already connected over there. Yeah, but those batteries will be very important. Uh, they will keep our base up and running um, otherwise. And they won't be in the way, which is very important as well. Some cargo pods, why? Oh, okay. Uh, what else? Yes, we are going to have to build a wall coming off, I think, from here and just going around, but that will be just, you know, just slate uh, for now. Uh, it's going to be something like like that. It's going to be bigger than I originally planned, uh, but that's just to give us a little bit of construction room inside. And uh, I'm going to deconstruct these over here and deal with that mad hair. But that is all the time we have for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to subscribe. Check out my Patreon so that you can help support this channel and, well, you know, help it continue. But until next time, do please remember that here, uh, there be dragons. Thank you so much to my patrons for making this channel possible. Click the Patreon logo to become one of these fine folk. And if you enjoyed the video, here are some more YouTube things you would like. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you next time.